Hello, calculus. I have 10 minutes before class, so I thought I'd start on your video. Finish it probably at home. Today, or today, we're looking at the fundamental theorem of calculus, part two. Sometimes we call it the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So that looks like it's showing up. All right. Remember the first theorem, uh, the first fundamental theorem said that the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals the integral evaluated at b minus the integral evaluated at a. All right. So that was the first fundamental theorem of calculus. So here we go to part two. I was wondering, and I'm sure you were as well, I admit it, that I was wondering how to take the derivative of an integral. All right, so we're gonna actually do that. And before I give you the fundamental theorem, I'm gonna try to tease it out of you. So, So, as I said, I was wondering how to find the derivative of an integral. So I'm going to take an integral, and this integral is a definite integral, and then I'm going to find the derivative of it. Notice I am taking the integral from 1 to x, 1 to x, excuse me, <laughs> all right, 1 to x, and I'm not using x as the, I'm not using x as the variable of integration, I'm using another F variable of integration because after I take the integral, I'll be substituting in x, so I'll end up with x, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm gonna do this first. And when I take the integral of t squared, I get t cubed over three, and I'm going to substitute in the x value first, and then the 1, subtract it. So that gives me that. And notice I have to find the derivative of all that, which is the derivative of all this. So what is the derivative of this expression? I'm going to let the 3 run down in front. And there's already a 3 in the denominator, and the x reduces by 1. The derivative of that is 0. So I end up with x squared. Interesting. So I want you to observe that. And notice I started with this and end it with that. All right, you have it written down. So I'm going to erase. So. I don't use a whole lot of my video space. So or maybe I'll leave this up and I'll just write the answer. All right, so observe that. I'm going to do another one or two and then see if you can get from here to here very quickly. All right, so let's do, how about the derivative of the integral from pi to 4, from pi over 4 to x, of sine t dt. All right, similar, except I put in a trig function. So what is the integral of sine x? I mean sine t. The integral of sine t is negative cosine t, because the derivative of that will get me back to that. So that's correct. Evaluate it. Uh, at pi, we're going to evaluate the upper and the lower. So we're going to get negative cosine x minus a minus cosine pi over 4. I'm videotaping, so just give me a minute. You come in and watch. All right, so now we call this is all 
in the spot where I'm going to find the derivative. And the derivative dx d dx. So what's the derivative of the expression that I just took the integral of? I get the derivative of that. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, but we already have a negative. So the double negative brings us back to sine x. And this is some constant. So the derivative of a constant, what is cosine of pi over 4? Square root of 2 over 2, double negative, positive square root of 2 over 2. So what's the derivative of that? Zero. So notice we took the derivative of this expression and got that expression. All right. So the uh, physics class is coming in. So I'll leave you with that thought and we'll pick it up again on part two. Bye, Cal. Bye, Bye Cal. Okay. <laughs> Who are you talking to?